hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue about part 8 how to fetch the data of the user table in laravel okay so guys um this is our fresh dashboard after admin logged in so i'll just log in once again i'll show you and how we are going to fetch it so let's click on log out and i'll just click on login and let's log in as admin with at gmail.com so i have set this as admin in our database so you can see over here role as admin we have given over here so let me click on login once login i will redirect to dashboard good so now we will create a one table and fetch all this user table data okay this thing so guys let's get back and let's go to a coding and let's change first this from orders to called um, or else we'll change this profile to some registered users or uh, something else so guys now we will move on to over here resources views inside views layouts so inside inc i will find admin navbar which we have created and over here we will just click on it mm, where is it it should be in sidebar admin sidebar not navbar admin sidebar so this is the profile tables maps and orders so the orders is not orders we'll clear here registered users users so now registered users let me arrange this file okay and let's call this a url for it url where i'm going to set it as registered users so let's copy this and go to web route first routes web.php and inside our admin route we will get the route colon get function where i'm going to set the path and call a controller so we will create one controller first php artisan make colon controller inside admin folder see here inside http controller i have one um no folder let's create a folder called admin admin is created now inside admin creator controller i'll give a forward slash and tell registered controller hit enter so there is some error okay this is the route action method this was the error let's comment this and let's create this again hit enter it will be created successfully so controller created successfully and you can see inside the admin folder called registered controller is created so you can click on it and save this let us close this file i mean terminal and we are going to create one function called public function called index okay so before that we will copy this register controller into our web route let's call the admin folder backslash and paste the controller name at index that's it so now once you click on this you will redirect to public index so over here i am going to call the table so guys for that dollar users is equal to user model okay which is already inside the models that is over here see here user.php so this is the eloquent model we are going to fetch all the data 
so once if you use this you have to import at the top okay so it's automatically got imported because of i have installed the laravel extension package so you can install and use that so let's return view with um, the variable called users comma dollar users so same thing you have to just copy and let's call this inside admin folder dot i will create users dot index okay so let's create a file inside resource views admin inside admin and i'm going to create a folder called users so inside that users i'll create a index blade file so let me create index.blade.php right now done and let's call the same dashboard things into our files so let me copy and paste back and let's close this so this setup was already done so we can move on with it so if you're watching from the beginning you can understand registered users simple and this is the cards so let me clear this so let's save it and let's run it control r see registered user have come um, where is the icon let me check out with the icon admin sidebar this is the icon fa fa users so let's hit the control r and users have come i'm going to click on this and let's see what is the output i have clicked on registered user so it's loading okay unexpected somewhere i have missed it let's go to our register controller and let's give us semicolon and end with that so let's hit control r and you can see here home registered user so now i will just view a table in it where we can fetch the data so let's go to our index blade file over here i will give a 12 column where we can fetch the table that's it table dot table table bordered t head tr table heading you have to give one is the id copy paste one for one is for name what's happening name email that's it we'll give name and email is enough okay here we can give mm, edit or we'll give action and same thing not table t head it is Do not make mistake t body table body tr so tr then table data over here four steps will come okay so now in this fourth one we will keep a, a tag and called edit and one delete that's it now over here i'm going to loop this so use a for each loop okay so now let me cut this and paste and this collections we are getting from this registered user so you have to copy this and paste over here as item copy this item and paste item where name 
first is id then thread times let's call the name and email save control r so three steps have been come over here and table stripped striped we can use this and over here for this edit and delete we will make a class B A D G E badge badge pill or button primary. So copy this class and make danger save execute okay guys so now we have successfully set and fetched the data if you want more data like name email and you want to see the role also over here you can fetch that role also as per like same thing and you can tell role and tell role underscore as and here for this padding x is equal to 3 padding y is equal to 3 or 2 we can utilize let's reload it you can see something like this also and here is the role admin and vendor so guys we have successfully fetched this data and now we will be learning how to um, update the role in next video okay so this is for roles and permission no, not registered user so we will registered user we can take also or roles and permission anyhow you can once you click you can see over there roles and permission so that's it guys in this video we have completed that how to fetch the data by eloquent using eloquent model of the laravel user table and uh, we'll continue in the next video about edit and deleting part that is updating the vendor or admin and deleting it so thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share